Glasses on. All right, here we go, Bowman. Just opened a fresh case. Oh, speaking of Javi Blasters pills. Yeah. Guess what Mr. Oman's going to be breaking? When are we breaking that, Omni? I'm getting in. I mean, if you guys can even get any spots, I'm I'm going to be buying all the random spots or team spots or whatever. <laughs> Sage Blasters. Yep. Dude, Sage is awesome. What are you talking about? All right, autograph right off the bat. Damon Keith for the Dodgers. Jay Welch. Serial number blaster breaks. Ooh, I like it a lot. Tuesday. No, you know what? Tops actually put blasters in my, like, I was allowed to order blasters from, direct from Tops. God, every time that looks like a super right there. I mean, it wouldn't be on the back like that probably, but like a certain, you see that right there? It just looks like a super. I got a full freaking case of blasters. Headed to Omni right now. It's going to be real affordable. Roderick Arias. Jackson Cheerio. Javier Osario and a Tony Blanco Jr. Purple. Yeah, dude. I mean, I don't think Omni's going to do the whole case, but. Yeah. Hobby Blaster Case, let's go! <laughs> God. Omni, we should set up a different scene in in Streamlabs that's for like retail blaster breaks. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? Gunnar Henderson. Bell Trade at 199. Oh, I'm sure it would fill. Drew Jones to 499. Okay. Tim. What's that puppy go for? 10 grand? Nah. Probably only like a thousand. That's gonna get a platinum top loader. Andy Pages. You know what else would happen in the old days? And we're not gonna do this tonight. I'm not. I am not setting this up for tonight. <laughs> what would happen in the old days is it would take 500 years to fill the first half of the case. And then we'd do this break and I'd be like, you know, I'd make up something like, oh man, the first half of that case was amazing. The second half must be even better. And everyone would be like, yeah. And then I'd post it and fill it in two seconds. Then if it was bad, I'd be like, the first half of that case sucked. The second half must be amazing. I'm posting the second half. And everyone would be like, oh, instant sellout every time. Yeah, I'm not, tonight I'm not posting the second half. Yeah, and it would just keep going forever. Drew Jones insert. <laughs> Loaded. No, I never did that. I mean, I did do that. I didn't use this. I didn't say like, oh, the first half is loaded. The whole case is loaded. I never said that crap. Basically, we got done with the first half and or halfway through and people would be like, post the second. And then you, the second half filled faster than the first half every time. Autograph. Got raised colors. But it's Blue Jays, Manuel Beltre. Two base autos. <laughs> no. No, that's not happening tonight. RT. <laughs> no, I'm not posting it. Under no circumstances will I be posting the second half. Jordan Lawler. Gabriel Gonzalez. Isn't this guy doing Justin Henry Malloy? Wait. Where's Chubby? Isn't Justin Henry Malloy killing it in the minors? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
What the hell? You guys already filled the second half. I didn't even post it. That's not even possible. Vaughn Grissom. What kind of black magic? <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> yeah, keep looking. It's on there somewhere. Kumar Rocker. I definitely didn't post, like, teams second half that filled fast. It would have to be a random. Spencer Jones, Chrome. No shot with the Braves. I swear he's killing it, though. Unless I'm, unless it's a different guy with Malloy. Mr. Malloy. Vargas. Colossus. Gabriel Gonzalez. Jet Williams. <laughs> Lawyer Malloy. Omni, I don't really remember anything from our entire time breaking together for five years except for singing Jet. <laughs> and then listening to that song a thousand times, loving it. Not 891. Okay. It's really my lasting memory. Alec Burleson. <laughs> You could I couldn't think of a single other thing that happened in five years. Man, freaking COVID, what a wild time. Yeah, that is a good memory. Well, somehow I didn't know that song. I mean, I guess not some. I mean, I wasn't really listening to 1980s Paul McCartney. No, it's insane. Autograph. Joe Stewart. Not even on the checklist. Yeah. Yeah, we had a bad run there for a while. Still kind of bad. I mean, you know, economy's not great. Definitely better than it was. Yeah, so was I. So was I, if you'll remember. <laughs> Joe Stewart. Yeah, it sucks. I was in LA for that rookie premiere thing and I saw a lot of Kobe stuff and I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that sucks. Yeah, was it on the weekend? Was it on a Saturday? Yeah. That was so weird. <laughs> you know what memory I have? It's not Kobe related, it's COVID related. This is a weird memory. I remember when COVID first started getting like really serious, you know? Because remember at the beginning, everyone was like, ah, maybe it's not a big deal. I mean, some people still think that, but at one point, like, almost everybody was like, ah, we'll see. And then I remember when it was, when that changed, and it was like, oh, no, this is going to be a thing that we have to deal with. And then it got real serious. Yeah, God, that was crazy. Corbin Carroll. I think, yeah, that was really the night when the NBA just quit. A Ponte to 150, blue paper for the Blue Jays. When the NBA just quit was really when it got, to me, was like, felt, felt like everything got real at that moment. <laughs> Bunker breaks. But anyway... This is the memory I have that's weird. I haven't gotten there yet. I remember being in my house and like... T 
telling my wife, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, people may not buy a single break ever again. Like, everyone might just freak out and they're not, they're going to lose their jobs. And, like, and I went around the house and, like, all the lights were on. <laughs> like, my kids' rooms, all the lights were on. The upstairs light was on. And I started turning off all the lights like I was saving money or something. Like, I was like, I'm going to. I'm just going to turn all the lights off because we don't need to be burning all this extra electricity. Junior Caminero. Henry Davis Blue. I actually thought like it could get to the point where I would be like turning off all the lights and turning the thermostat to like 80. <laughs> like that was going to you know, that would be the difference. <laughs> yeah. But even like immediately, like, a, like immediately after I did that, I was like, that does not going to do anything. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. COVID's afraid of the light. It's like a moth. Or it's attracted to light, I mean. Turn them off. Riley Green. If COVID can't see us, how's it going to get us? Anyway, that didn't happen. <clears throat> it was like Bigfoot. No way that happened. Autograph. Nick vote. Oh, refractor finally to four ninety nine. Cranky Yankee. You remember? What was it? Was it Italy or Fran France? Italy. That was when it got really scary. It was like it was coming. I was like, well, it's over there now, but it's gonna come over here. That was terrible. Autograph. Juan Brito. Oh, it's a blue lunar crater autograph. Wow. JR Buff, your Rockies. Yes. Brett Beatty. I remember one time we were getting like the Instacart deliveries for groceries and the guy that delivered it had like extra toilet paper and he just gave it to us. He was like, here, I bought a ton of toilet paper and I'm just like giving it to people on my deliveries. And it was like, thank you. Thank you, kind toilet paper man. You can imagine now if you got a delivery and someone's like, hey, I got like, I'm giving away toilet paper. You'd be like, get out of here, freak. <laughs> get the hell out of here. I don't want your toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. Weird times. <laughs> God, when are we ever going to get a parallel of one of these? We've never gotten one, right? I don't think. I've seen them. DePaula. Burgos. Lunar, whatever. What is it called? Oh no, I forgot the name. Lunar Glow. <laughs> Toilet paper man.
<laughs> yeah. Really? Well, that's because blasters are the best. They're so loaded. Libertor rookie to four ninety nine. Autograph. Bastidas. Wait, double autograph? No, that's paper. For the Tigers. Two times. The other memory I have, remember Omni when I went over to your apartment and you were like, I'm gonna battle this thing and you had like a wooden sword and like a trash can lid for a shield and stuff and I was like, no dude, it's not, you can't fight it like that. You were like all ready to fight. Herrera, Yilbert Herrera for the twins. Aqua. <laughs> yeah, you're LARPing set. I was like, it doesn't work like that. You can't literally fight it. And you're like, alright, I guess I'll just go LARP then. And I was like, yeah, okay. Then you shield bash me with the trash can lid. And laughed. Good times. <laughs> yeah, zero armor on those shorts. The other people in his LARP group just do like a fake leg strike with the sword and they're like, you're dead. Zero armor. 100% strike. Critical strike every time. He's not even here. Yeah, that was really weird. Poor Drew McIntyre finally got to be champ and no one even was there. His career finally came all the way around and wasn't a joke anymore. Jones insert. Oh, Drew might leave. I read something that they're going to do some cuts. But they always do that. Autograph. Justin Crawford. Refractor auto for the Phillies. RF Daniels. It's a good one, Justin Crawford. The Paula Chrome. Oh, Carl Crawford's kid. I actually liked Carl Crawford when he was on the Dodgers. He wasn't bad. Autograph. Dayan Frias. Purple for the Guardians. Two times. It was a good one. Spencer Jones Chrome, Jefferson Rojas Lunar Glow. Yeah, I'll probably get to play tonight. I haven't played Rocket League for weeks. My brother was wanting to play that. I might play some of that, just to you know keep up the old skills. Muncie? Yeah. He was leading. He had like ten homers at one point, leading the league. I think a month, like a month. Two, three weeks ago? A month ago? It's 
second. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. He's not. I don't think his average is good at all, but he's hitting home runs. Fuchsia back there. Frederick Ben Cosme. Ben Cosme Kramer. To 199. For our Orioles. Where's my Orioles hat? Two times. Atomic insert. Jordan Lawler, League of His Own. Number to 150. Yellow paper, Colton Kowser. Is he still killing it? Chubby, you're here. gold. Francisco Alvarez. It is Zach Galoff. Galoff. I don't know how to say it. 75 yellow. Galoff. Rays colors. Let's go. It is the Rays. Ronnie Simon. RF Daniels. Devers to three ninety nine. Boston's up fifteen and a half. Wow. Watch him come back and win the series. They should. Freaking Miami. Just seems tough to not slip up one game out of four in a row. But. Yeah, first time ever. It's crazy it's never happened, really. Why do you think it's happened? Well, does it only happen once in baseball? The Red Sox that one time? Never in hockey? That's so weird. Yeah, 0 and 150. Oh, four times in hockey, yeah. Nice Ellie purple. D 
Do you think that's just totally random odds type of thing, or do you think basketball players just quit <laughs> and, like, other sports don't? Just give up after they're down 4-0, 3-0. Yeah, I know. All I have to do is make mistakes. That's why most people are watching anyway. Lazaro Montes. Yeah, I think it's just the Red Sox. Sedeno autograph, another blue lunar crater. Yeah. I need to find Wedgie cam off and use it more. Top loaders and sleeves. I actually think that hockey and baseball, I'm surprised it hasn't happened in baseball more because there's so many like random baseball luck things that happen same with hockey like the puck puck luck and stuff like basketball usually the ba the better team just wins basketball series i think i don't know it's not a lot of luck eh. i don't know i guess of all the sports i would say in my lifetime, it seems like the best team wins the championship in basketball. More than the best team wins in baseball and football and hockey. But all, then again, I don't know who the best team is in hockey. It's, to, it's all... I have no idea why any team is good or bad in hockey. And I don't think anybody does. They're just lying. <laughs> I know. I thought the same thing, Phil. It's a long way from happening, but if the Celtics do come back and win, what do you think their odds will be against the Nuggets? Well, the Panthers were one loss away from not making the playoffs. The Bruins won a record, right? They set a record for regular season wins and lost immediately. Like, how can... Right there. That's, that's really tough to make an argument that anyone knows anything or any team... But then again, the same teams with the same guys end up kind of making the playoffs a lot. So there is something. Arroyo to 499. It's not total luck, otherwise the standings would be completely different every single season. Autograph. Jefferson Rojas, Speckle Auto to 299. Cubs. Had Florida winning, really? Doesn't mean hockey's not amazing to watch and a great sport. It, I just can't. All the years I watched it and played at the lowest possible level, I have no idea why. Like I know players, some players are definitely better than other players, but 
it's just impossible to predict for me what the heck would ever happen. Except for that year the Sharks made it to the finals against the Penguins, and the Penguins were just way better. That year they were better than everybody. It was just seemed like they were for sure going to win. That's the one year I remember thinking like, well, no chance Sharks are beating them. The Carol Bone Spotlight. 65%. <clears throat> Nolan Gorman <laughs> uh, Montesino Lunar Glow yeah that's true our last autograph come on manual beltray do we start with manual beltray no second autograph yep guys this half was terrible there's got to be second half of this thing's got to be completely loaded there's got to be a gold auto a blue auto i mean you know we got a purple and a couple lunar craters but geez <laughs> Collier Chrome <laughs> It's not going to fill by teams though I have to do random Leverd I hate when people do that Because you're like What about the people who just spend a lot of their hard earned money on this break You're still on And you're a breaker and you're like Anyways this break sucked so it sucks you guys spent money on this. Oh, God. The next one, though, going to be good. Don't even let them finish out their break. No, nah, but there was some color in this one. This half. I don't even think it was that bad. That was just a joke. I mean, obviously, we didn't get Drew Jones or anything, but. Sedano, the blue lunar crater. Brito, blue lunar crater. Purple, Dan Frias. Yeah, the, that two Jones refractor is good. Rojas, to 299. Justin Crawford refractor auto is good. With that new Max app. Uh, Nick Vogt refractor. And then Beltre, Ronnie Simon, Bastidas, Joe Stewart, Manuel Beltre again, Damon Keith. And then I. Uh, Eloy Purple, Zach Galoff to 75. Jordan Lawler, insert to 150. Frederick to 199. Herrera to 399. Libertor Paper to 499. Henry Davis Blue Refractor. Drew Jones Refractor to 499. Oh, Discovery? Wait, what? Arroyo to 499. Devers. Colton Cowser to 75. Aponte to 150. Alec Burleson, rookie to 125. Manuel Beltre. Purple paper. Any manual bell train and stuff? Pipple popper. Here's the lunar glows that are not numbered. Oh, Tony Blanco Jr. purple. Refractor. What the heck are these? Spotlights. And then some top chromes. And then more spotlights. Normal people internet? Really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's exciting.